Okay, so uh, some good news today. Um, as you know, I tested the 120 volts the other day and they all worked. And uh, it just so happens that the camera is currently plugged into the 120, as is the light. So we're now operating off the house, which is awesome. And uh, today was the test for the 12 volt. Uh, initially, this didn't work. So I had to do some testing to find out where the current was uh, being cut off. So I used this voltmeter, which I can light up with my new 12 watt, uh, 12 volt lamp. So super happy about this working out. Um, I'm gonna test the rest down line uh, in a second um, using this, uh, this voltmeter here. So uh, this was lent to me. Uh, there's lots of different types available. Um, the only thing is I've been taught on this is um, this is the volt setting. So if there's a V, um, that's how many volts, and they're in thousands. So if you're gonna test 12 volt, you want it down on one of the lowest. So I popped it down on here. And then you uh, test from negative to positive, and then it will display how many volts are coming through. So um, in order to make sure it was working, I went to the main breaker uh, the fuse box, the 12 volt fuse box, then went across positive to negative, and it said just over 12 volts here. So I knew that was working. And then I went down through each switch and then discovered between which switches the problem was. And that problem was in one of the junction boxes, uh, which I opened up and realized that one of the negative terminals had come loose inside one of the morettes. So um, I just needed to reconnect that. And then I went back to this switch and, uh, and tested the voltage across that switch, which came to 12. So that's uh, one way of using this meter. The other way is the ohms. So there's a little setting here for ohms, and uh, sorry about the blood there. Didn't even notice I'd cut myself. So there's a little uh, ohms uh, symbol here, and if you turn it over to ohms, and uh, based on the voltage, uh, we're looking at 120, so I'm setting it to 200 um, for that. And then you just uh, test continuity between the lines. So a negative must be connected to a negative, and a positive must be connected to a positive in order to make sure there's a connection there. Um, and I used that in the breaker box as well before turning everything on to make sure that there was nothing, no wires touching each other that shouldn't be touching each other. So if you have a ground touching a live, you've got a problem. If you've got a, a, a negative touching a ground, you might have a problem as well. So you just need to make sure there's no content, like there is continuity between the wires that need continuity. And that's that. So now I'm just going to go down and test all the wires uh, for the 12 volt. So I'll switch it back down to here and then I'll show you how that appears. So this box here is going to be for a light and I need to test what the voltage is across these wires. Now this is operated by a switch, so I need to uh, make sure the switch is on. Now there is no switch on the circuit, just a bunch of bare wires. So let's show you for instance, if I just uh, connect this negative and because this is 12 volts, I'm totally safe to touch the wires here. Let's just make sure this is in shot here. If I was to touch across these, there's a very slight uh, reading, but nothing. We're definitely not near 12 volts. So this is the switch. Um, there will be a switch across here, which is simply a toggle switch. And uh, we can simply twist those wires together. Uh, which basically acts as the switch. So now the switch is on. So now we've got the switch connected. Let's test it. So let me just set this to the right one. And then we have 12 volts. Okay. So we see 12 volts with the switch connected. So once you've done all your testing, you just want to make sure that none of the wires are connected, unravel them and twist them. Uh, so the switches are basically set to off and uh, 
once everything's tested and I know that there's 12 volts running to every single receptacle, then uh, I know we can fill in the walls with insulation and start uh, putting some tongue and groove up. It's gonna be a while till then, but we'll get there. Okay, so just to clarify, um, this is the 12 volt fuse box. Um, there's a little cover for it, uh, which I have labels on to show me which, um, which circuit does what. Uh, so I have the fans to the bathroom coming from this one. This is the left side of the um, tiny house lighting system, and this is the right side lighting system. So they're all running off. Uh, there's just the one circuit for all the lights on the, on the right side. So basically this, uh, the power comes in here, positive, negative, and that comes from a transformer. So I've, they run down through, through here and below into a, little, um, into, a, into a little junction box, and then that connects um, with Moretz to a transformer which is on the other side of this wall inside the service box. That transformer plugs in to a 120 volt GFCI outlet which is out there. So that's powered by 120, brings in the power. So to test that there is power coming through this and the right amount of power, and, you know, I use, the, uh, use the, the meter and we just connect it between the positive and negative. So let's see if we can make this happen. So I've got the red one connected to the bottom there, and then that one to the top. It doesn't matter which way around, but there you go. You see 12 volts and 26, okay? If you're seeing crazy low numbers or something, you might have this on the wrong, wrong setting. Um, you might see this. So you just need to make sure that it's on the right one. I've got it set to 20, which is the closest to 12. So I'm just looking at it that way, and then we go into millionths or whatever, thousandths, whatever these refer to. Um, this is just the volt measurement, okay? And then ohms, which I talked about earlier over here. So the volt measurement to see how many volts run through the circuit. So we've got 12 volts, that's awesome. And then I can test to make sure the circuits are running. I only have one uh, fuse in here right now, just to test each circuit at one at a time. But if I test this one, so positive to one of the negatives, I can see 12, 25, so I know that that circuit's working. If I test the one above, it's got no fuse in it, we don't see 12 volts. So I pop this fuse, change it to the other one, and we test this circuit, and we know that's got 12 volts. So we know that there's no problem coming up and out of here. So then you just test each stage down the road, um, down the circuit to make sure you're receiving 12 at every one. So I've tested uh, this circuit. I'm now gonna just test all the other circuits. Everything was great on this circuit. I was getting 12 volts at every, uh, at every light. Uh, when I turned the switches on and off, I got no volts, which is exactly what you want. So, so far so good. We'll get everything else sorted and uh, we're gonna have some lighting. Okay, uh, so I'm super happy. Everything works, um, including the three-way switch as well. Um, so um, I'm going to show you that, um, how it worked successfully. Uh, so let's have a quick look at the three-way. So I'm using toggle switches because I just think they look cool instead of using the standard switches. Uh, I'm going to be finding out a, a plate to put those through, but this is a three-way switch and this is a, a standard on-off switch okay so this is also known as an on on switch and it has the three terminals so the terminals are wired such that these two uh, the red and yellow is one circuit that joins to the other switch so they join to the other switch and then this black one runs up to the light so let's go have a look at the light. Now, this white, uh, white wire with the red and yellow is the main feed, okay, from the power. So this is coming from the fuse box uh, and through all the other lights. So this is the main feed of power to the light. So it comes to the light first, 
But then what happens, instead of it actually being connected to the light bulb, uh, and because this is the end of the circuit as well, it makes it a little easier. So the, the main power, the red, comes in, and then I pigtail that to go down to the switch. So this one is alive, that continues down. Um, I have a junction box here, but it, 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 it diverts past that because this just goes straight to the switch along here. So there's a switch in the bedroom along there, which I'll show you connects to the, the middle one here. That's the power. So the power runs to the light and really just feeds this. Then this is another uh, on on switch and this yellow and red run to the other switch. And then so the power will come through this switch. If this is set to let's say that takes the power through the yellow cable, then that yellow the power will be sent down the yellow cable to the other switch into here. So in order for that to Basically then the power comes in here and it's going to go out here or not out there at all. So this, this switch will bring power in from either of these and send it out through here to the light. So then it goes up that one, which is the other one here, which comes through here and acts as this live, okay? So basically, You've got the negative here, which just feeds the light bulb. The positive, which goes to the first switch in the bedroom. And then the bedroom connects down to that switch. And then depending on what position those two switches are in, the power then feeds back up to this return right here. So this is the live, this is the neutral. And there's just two switches in between. So I hope that makes sense. Um, it makes sense to me, and uh, I throw up a diagram uh, which makes it way clearer. Um, but uh, it works, and it's great. So you just need those uh, on-on toggle switches, if that's what you're going to use. Otherwise, they do make three-way switches. And instead of using that single black cable, you can use like a... If you're using 120 volt lights, for instance, you can use a 14.3 or uh, with three conductors in to save you running that single one. Um, but it works great and it's 12 volt, um, so it's uh, a lot less uh, dangerous to work with. And uh, yeah, happy days. So one other thing I wanted to say when I was touching the wires with the, uh, the meter, um, I'm okay to do that because it's 12 volt. Don't touch the wires in a 120 volt system, okay? Um, you might get a shock.